Well, let me start by saying thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is episode two. If you haven't seen what I did in episode one, please click back and have a look at episode one and then rejoin episode two. For those that did watch episode one, thank you very much. And let's recap what I did. Well, I built the frame of the roof. I built the bed and also a little table for the side of the bed and kind of a table I can use for prepping food which is next to the wood stove. Today, I filled in the roof with the roof material being the pallet wrap. It's not quite bushcraft, it's more survival. It's more seeing what you can do with something, whether this is washed up on a beach, it, it might not be in a huge roll, it might be loose plastic. I basically, I've built so many shelters in the past using natural materials, I had to try this using pallet wrap. One thing I'm really interested in is seeing the temperature difference between the inside and the outside of the shelter. But I think I'll leave that until I do the overnighter, which will be in episode three. So don't forget to check that one out. So again, just to recap what I've done today, 
is I filled in the roof and there's actually two layers of material in the roof which creates a lot more insulation when it comes to keeping the heat in. Whereas the outer walls, they've only got one layer or one skin. As for the door, well, I added extra layers, vertical layers of pallet wrap in order to strengthen it. And then using my ax, I cut through to make the doorway, which was then held open with two sticks. I have left a little gap right here. There's a gap on the opposite corner. And also the gap along the bottom that I filled in with logs. Well, I didn't want to completely seal this shelter because I'm burning wood, I've got a wood stove, and I'm kind of worried about carbon monoxide poisoning. Therefore, I've allowed plenty of flow to come in from, the, from, the, from underneath the shelter, and also air can either escape or come in through there. That is one very important thing to remember if you are gonna be building one of these and putting a wood stove in. Think about carbon monoxide poisoning. And then for the wood stove, I've simply, just like the door, I've cut vertically and I've put in two sticks in order to keep that hot flue away from the plastic wall or the pallet wrap wall. And I'm joined by my dog. If you know what her name is, comment below. Hey. So just to recap, this is a short term temporary shelter. It's only gonna be up for a matter of days. And then I'll be taking it all down, disassembling all the wood, giving that back to the woodlands, scattering the wood around, taking all the plastic home with me, throwing it in the bin. It was just an experiment. I had to try this. I've been thinking about this for a long time and it seems to work really well. I've had the wood stove going in there for a matter of minutes, maybe 15 minutes, and it's so warm in there already. So I'm looking forward to doing an overnighter in here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting up a bit of this chorizo. It's actually a chorizo I bought in Spain probably about two, maybe three weeks ago. Yeah, really good stuff. Slightly spicy, but really tasty. Mmm. Oh, incredible. Right. So you might be wondering what it is I'm cooking. Well, I'm just doing a very simple meal in the woods. And I've got some eggs with me. I just collected these this morning. I've got a couple of chickens in the garden. So uh, I got two fresh ones this morning and this one was from yesterday morning. Anyway, I'm gonna take an egg. In fact, I'm gonna take three eggs. I've got my cookster. Just drop these eggs into the cookster. Two, I might just, might even do two eggs actually. And now using my spork, just gonna mix this up a little. Yeah, you guessed it, I'm cooking an omelette in the woods. Give that a little, little stir so it doesn't burn.
and then I've got some cheese. Okay, I always ask this, but what do you want to see me cooking in the woods next time I come here? I'm going to come here to do an overnighter very soon. And I want you guys, I want someone to comment, tell me what you want to see me cooking here in the woods. And then just a few mixed herbs on the top. Okay, I had three eggs, I used two. And this goes out to all those people that have commented in the past asking why I never feed my dog. Well, I don't, I don't film every time I feed my dog, but this one is for you. I'm gonna give my dog this raw egg. Labradors, they will eat anything. As long as it's not poisonous, that's the trick. Don't ever feed your dog anything poisonous. So it's the middle of March. The evenings are still quite cold, but I just thought once again, it was a good excuse or good reason to get out and try this style of shelter. I do want to come back here in a few days time to do an overnighter and I'll probably bring my dog Amber as well. But it's so hot in here, it really is. It's so simple. It's amazing how such a simple shelter can actually keep so much warmth in. Yeah, it's uh, quite something, it really is. So for the last few minutes, I'm just gonna get some heat on the top, placing this in there. Close that a little bit. And there we have it, a very simple omelette cooked in the woods on a wood stove using a few basic ingredients. Now it's time to try it. There's something about cooking chorizo in a pan and allowing all those flavors to, and that fat and those juices to seep out of the chorizo and infiltrate all of the other flavors and ingredients that you throw into the pan. Incredible, I love it. Just like a mini pizza. Mm. Once again, if you've got any ideas or recipes or if there's anything you want to see me cook here in the woods, let me know. Comment down in the comment section. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that has supported the channel by purchasing some of the merch. Many of you are aware that I do have different types of merch ranging from t-shirts and hoodies, but I've also got things like these, which are fire strikers or fire steels. Uh, so these come branded, I've got these, and then I've also got things like the chopping boards so, and cooksers even, and titanium sporks. I'm all about the cooking good in the woods. And it's what I like to think I do, because uh, I just tend to eat a lot when I go camping and I wanna take something tasty with me. I wanna do something slightly different. So again, thank you to everyone that has purchased and supported the channel through the merch link below. Thank you. And that is it for this video, this video of this experimental shelter. I've been thinking about it for a while. It's not very bushcraft. However, it's more making use of what you have in whatever situation you find yourself in whether you find yourself in a situation where you land on, a, on an island full of pallet wrap, I do not know. But it's been a very interesting experiment to see how easy it is to build a shelter like this. And it's also been very interesting to see how warm it gets inside, whereas normally if you just have a tarp over you, it doesn't really get that warm. But because we've created walls and this insulated roof with two skins, 
it's really holding in that heat. I can imagine in the winter time when it's quite cold, this would be amazing to do an overnighter right here. Like I mentioned, it's the middle of March. The evenings are still quite cold. I'm gonna come back in a few days time and do 24 hours right here. Let me know below, tell me what I need to cook up, what I need to go and buy and bring along so that I can cook up what you suggest. And if you wanna see more of this, this kind of outdoorsy shelter, let me know. All you have to do is hit the like button. Thanks again, see you next time. <laughs> hey, you wanna go home now, don't you? <laughs> Come on then.